Now I'm a wildlife photographer, but there are so many other areas of photography to be explored that I haven't even scratched the surface with. Like for example, landscape photography. I'm almost embarrassed to admit that the first time I tried landscape photography properly was on this trip to the Isle of Skye, which was actually back in August this year. I guess ultimately, I've become so comfortable photographing wildlife that if I dedicate some time to landscape photography and it doesn't pay off, or I don't come away with any images, will I just go home wishing that I was photographing wildlife that session instead? I guess I've always been a bit like this. I remember being a young kid growing up surfing on Jersey and the older generation of surfers always saying to me, Rich, why are you always riding a longboard? Rich, don't you want to go out and surf on something different? Why don't you try a shortboard? Why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? And I remember there was one particular old boy down the beach and he once said to me, there's no point in going to the fun fair if you're only going to go on one ride. And I didn't really get what that meant at the time. And it's only now when I look back on it that I know exactly what he meant. And I realized that I've fallen into that same trap with photography where I head off out the house most days with my big telephoto lens in search of wildlife to try and capture some nice portraits. And whilst I love that and I'm gonna to continue to do that, I want one of my New Year's resolutions to be that I'm gonna dedicate a little bit more time to these other areas of photography. So this video wasn't actually gonna make it onto YouTube. I just felt like it lacked images. And for that reason, it kind of just sat in iMovie and I've done nothing with it. And then, as I sat at my desk this morning, going through some of the footage that I've captured over the year, I remembered what a great time I had filming this one. And I think it would be a shame not to release it. So anyway, here it is. And don't worry, normal service will resume soon and we'll be back to the wildlife videos. Well, good afternoon and welcome to the beautiful, beautiful Isle of Skye. I'm trying something completely new today, completely different for this video. And um, I'm going to try some landscape photography today. And I think given the location, it would almost be rude not to. So I've come up to Sky um, with a couple of friends and my wife, and we're just chilling for a few days in the camper van. Um, made my way over from the Cairngorms, where I was photographing the red squirrels, and thought, well, it's one of those places that I've always wanted to see. So I thought, hey, why not go and check it out? And we had a few hikes in mind and I didn't really want to be the party pooper that didn't want to do long hikes because I was lugging big heavy gear around. So I thought, I know what I'm going to do on this trip. I'm going to leave the big lens. I'm going to leave the big bulky gear and um, I'm just going to focus on trying to capture some of the amazing scenery that Sky has to offer. I'm a novice when it comes to this. I'm, I'm, in fact, I'd go as far as to say, other than the odd snap on my uh, smartphone, I haven't really done any landscape photography, so um, it's probably gonna be a bit of a learning curve for me. So my friend Will is joining me today. He's gonna to help me um, kind of try and get some shots. He's actually lent me one of his lenses. Um, and yeah, I've got, I don't know, I've got my eyes on a location behind me that I think looks pretty cool, but at the moment there's loads of people there. But we've got about three hours till sunset. So what I'm gonna do is just cruise around, check out this bothy, that's um, just to the right hand side of me. And then yeah, go for a little wonder and see if we can find a composition.
So that was really cool. So um, I've never actually been to like one of these places before. And well, I guess because I normally stay in the van, I never really considered it an option for camping, but this one, I mean, it's probably, I mean, I'm sure it's really well known up here, but um, it was amazing. Yeah, it had kind of everything you needed. Um, and the view was just incredible. So I think I might come back probably, probably in the winter and um, hike up and try and camp in there. There was a couple of people that are already there. Um, they're they're going to be camping there this evening. And I um, must admit, I was quite jealous. But um, back to the photography. I kind of saw something, as I mentioned in the first piece of the camera, um, that caught my eye in the distance. And I've just had a little look on a map in there. And it looks like it used to be a castle. So I know nothing more than that. Um, but I think I'm going to go check it out. It's quite a long walk, so I might jump in the van, drive a little bit closer. So I'm going to trek back to the van, jump in, drive a little bit closer, go check it out. Um, and hopefully we find a composition. Got about, I don't know really, probably still got about an hour and a half till sunset. So um, plenty of time really. But I just can't get over this. Just everything you look at just looks incredible. It's breathtaking, it really is. <laughs> Okay, so I've just made my way over to where these castle ruins are and um, well, it's beautiful and I'm so glad I've come to check it out, but I'm not really, oh, hooded crow. I'm not really seeing anything that kind of immediately jumps out. Um, I'm kind of looking for something where I can put in a little bit of foreground interest. That said, I don't want to talk it up too much because um, you know, I'm not a landscape photographer at all. But yeah, whilst it's absolutely beautiful and I'm glad I came to have a look, I'm not really seeing an image that jumps out. Also, we've got all of this fencing and these gates in front of it. So, which I completely understand why. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna head down to the beach, which is probably like less than a five minute walk just aside of me and see if we can kind of capture like a seascape image as the sun goes down. Kind of running out of time, as you can probably tell, the, the lights start to drop. I've probably got about 45 minutes left, so I'm gonna head down to the beach now and I'll speak to you when I get there. beach now and um, yeah it's absolutely stunning the scene is beautiful I have absolutely nothing to complain about I could just sit here in fact I probably will end up just sitting here for a bit longer after the sun goes down and just watching it um, I kind of as soon as I got onto the beach I kind of thought I'd seen a composition with these rocks um, that are in front of me and they're like they look like they'd almost be like leading lines leading out and then you've got I think um, Harris in the background which is just 
incredible. Honestly, it's, from here it looks like it's not even real. It looks like it's CGI or something. It's just amazing. But yeah, I really kind of wanted to include that in the image using some of these rocks, like I say, as leading lines and then wait until we get some really nice light, uh, which is just about to happen. Um, but I'm struggling. As soon as I'm putting the camera down and I'm trying to look for compositions, I'm kind of struggling to make it look how I see it, if that makes sense, or to make it come across in the camera how I'm kind of seeing it. Uh, so I'm gonna keep looking. I feel like I'm rushing a little bit now with the light, but I'm just gonna snap, snap a few images. And if nothing else, at least I've got some keepsakes that I can look back on and remember my time here on the beautiful Isle of Skye. Okay, so typically, and like most photographers, I changed my mind. Um, after doing that last piece of the camera, um, I kind of walked back and I got my friend Will to come over and help me find the composition because I could kind of see what I was trying to achieve, but I was really struggling to make it happen. Um, and he suggested bringing the camera up higher, using a tripod and using a filter and getting myself a long exposure. So that's exactly what I've done. And yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked with it. There's a couple of things I was unsure about with regards to balance in the image, but hey, you know, I'm a wildlife photographer, so, so I'll just show you now exactly what I'm looking at. Um, and then I'm gonna finish the video there. So I'll pop the images up. I hope you like them. I think they're gonna look okay. And um, I'll see you all on the next video.